Here, I want to introduce the paper titled Gradient Descent Finds Global Minima for Generalizable Deep Neural Networks of Practical Sizes. So, we all know that deep learning has been an amazing success. It has been very exciting and great. In addition to many successful applications, there are a lot of good explanations as to why deep learning is doing so well. But one aspect of deep learning that is relatively not well understood yet is optimization and generalization. Training a deep model usually is done via high dimensional non-convex optimization. In order to scale for high dimensionality, we usually have to use some local greedy algorithms such as gradient descent or its variants. But because of the non-convexity, local greedy algorithms can potentially get stuck near a locally optimal solution or attracted to a saddle point, as illustrated in this figure. So an important question is, does gradient descent find global minima for deep neural networks of practical sizes with generalization guarantees? One of the contributions of this paper is to prove that the answer is yes. More concretely, this paper proved the following statements. First, we prove that gradient descent finds a global minimum for nonlinear deep neural networks of the practical sizes. Here, n is the number of samples and d sub y is the output dimension. In terms of the sizes of the neural networks, this theoretical result is consistent with the practical observations. Second, we prove that the linear increase of the size of the network in terms of the number of samples n in the output dimension, d sub y is already the optimal rate for the trainability guarantee. We prove that it cannot be improved further except by a logarithmic factor. Finally, we show numerically and theoretically that deep neural networks with our trainability guarantee generalize well to unseen test samples with a natural data set, but not with a data set of randomly corrupted labels with a certain probability. The contribution of this paper can also be seen in the context of previous work. There are previous papers that prove the trainability, but the previous papers require a significantly large number of parameters. The table shows the number of parameters required to ensure the trainability, in terms of n and h, where n is the number of samples in a training dataset and h is the number of hidden layers. As it can be seen, our paper significantly improves the required number of parameters to ensure the trainability. Importantly, there is a significant gap between practice and previous theories. For example, previous theory requires much more than 50,000 to the 8th power parameters for cipher 10, which is not true in practice. In terms of the size of the networks, our result is consistent with the practical observations in common practice. Figure 1 illustrates this fact with various datasets and a pre-activation ResNet with 18 layers, which is widely used in practice. The figure plots training loss and accuracy versus the number of epochs. Training accuracy reaches 100% and training loss is approximately zero for all datasets, even though the number of total parameters is several orders of magnitude smaller than that required by any previous theories, whereas the number is consistent with our theory. Here is the summary of our contributions. Thank you.